I probably uh, would have done things a bit differently if so many people hadn't have messaged me and told me to take that brown belt off and throw it on the ground because I don't deserve it. <laughs> right? If y'all hadn't have messaged me and told me, who are you to get a brown belt? I used to kick your ass four years ago. Yeah, G, you used to four years ago. And you still outweigh me, G. You still outweigh me. And one day, maybe I face you. Maybe. But if you hadn't have told me to give back that belt, if you hadn't have called me a joke, if you hadn't have called down the Belize and said, we're a joke down here, I probably would have. <laughs> but not anymore. Because of you. <laughs> and you, gordo, immenso, gordissimo, gigantissimo. Hey, because of you. Ras vale fake, Ras vale mad Ras. I'm gonna keep wearing this. And I'm gonna keep representing. And I'm gonna go all over the world and I'm gonna show you, Mad Ras, what I can do with this brown belt. Because I'm gonna tell you something the mats don't lie, and a belt only covers two inches of your. Hey guys, Rob here with Make Dojo Life, and the man you just got done watching blow smoke in that video goes by the name of Eduardo Aragon, but he's also known as Jiu Jitsu Hybrid on Instagram. It turns out that Eduardo wasn't just blowing smoke literally, he was also figuratively blowing smoke. <laughs> You see, Eduardo made a post in November of 2023 claiming to have received his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu brown belt. The only problem with that is, is that September of 2023, just two months before that post was made, he was a no-stripe blue belt. You see, anybody who's ever trained Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu knows that the blue belt is typically the belt that you hold on to the longest. And after your blue belt, you will go immediately to purple belt, almost never skipping over a belt to go directly to brown like he's claiming. Of course, he was confronted and questioned about this pretty much immediately. Jordan Rickenbach said, Eduardo, who promoted you and thought it was a great idea to skip your purple belt? That's the question I want to know. Not asking for anything, uh, I'm assuming he meant any other reason than this guy failed you. I would never do this to a student. Now you're going to be ripped online because some ding dong decided you don't have to wear a purple belt. I mean, this is pretty amateur stuff. This is bad for the sport. If this was me, I would throw that brown belt on the ground, put my blue belt back on, and go find an instructor with half a brain that cares about you. Just a suggestion. Wild. Hayden Jitsu said, what about purple belt? To which Eduardo responded, Dima tell me that I earned that belt a long time ago. This was followed by Gregor Burton. Who's Dim? Your record at blue belt on Smooth Comp is 13 and 23. Congratulations on receiving a belt you didn't earn. The belt only protects a couple inches of your backside. You've got to protect the rest. Hashtag mats don't lie. The video that you watched at the beginning of this video was him directly responding to these people in the comment sections. As I'm sure you could tell, he was quite irritated with those comments in the comment sections. But the truth is, he was caught in a lie. But rather than taking ownership for that lie, he actually doubled down. See you all at Masters 3, 145 pound division. Just a few days after that particular back and forth, he made this post, not only doubling down once again, defending the belt that he has, but also once again confirming that just two months before that, he was a blue belt. At this point, he had been asked multiple times, who gave you the brown belt, but of course he refused. Now, from what I was seeing, a lot of people were coming at him extremely aggressive. So I figured maybe I'd reach out and try a different approach. I would stay tactful, I'd stay professional and polite. That didn't go so good. I started off with wanting to reach out. I'm just curious who promoted you, not hating. Apparently this was not the right way to go or tactic because I didn't actually ever get an answer. I did on the other hand get comments like this. I don't know you a thing, you stupid are you stupid or just death? I'm assuming he meant deaf, but that's neither here nor there. Wish you were here right now so I could beat you like I beat this kid. And then he provided a video of him in an MMA fight. Are you daft or just stupid? Which is kind of redundant because those are pretty much the same thing, I guess. And one of my personal favorites, I'm gonna roll up on you like I roll up on my enemy.
Well, that's not very nice. Of course, there was more, but you get the idea. The conversation at that time ended with him letting me know that he would talk about this in his post-fight interview after his fight on January 13th. We're going to come back to the conclusion of his story in a bit, but I want to introduce you to this guy, Danny Nunez, also known as Gonzalo D. Nunez, but on his Instagram known as DJ Danny Nunez. Now, currently, his Instagram profile looks like this. But not that long ago, his Instagram profile actually looked like this. Do you notice one major change between the two that might stand out a little bit? You probably caught it by now, but if you didn't, his previous bio actually had Marine Corps written right there for all to see. Interesting. So I decided to reach out to him directly and ask if he had ever been in any branch of the military, to which he responded, no. That's true. and Yeah, that's true. So I decided to ask him a follow-up question after that, if he had ever claimed to be in any branch of the military, to which he also responded, no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Here's the problem with those answers. The problem with those answers are, I already know the truth before I ever ask the question. Exhibit A, let's look at this post that was made on November 11th of 2014 and is actually still there right now. It says, we wear our dog tags today. Hashtag USMC, hashtag Semperfy, hashtag URA. USMC, Semperfy, URA. I mean, to me, it seems like you were claiming to be in the United States Marine Corps with that post, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I misinterpreted it. Maybe you just really like to wear dog tags for some reason and really like the U.S. Marine Corps, which is cool, and maybe that's why it was in your bio. Maybe. But what about this post that was made the exact same day you made that post, but is no longer on your Instagram profile? The post reads, Happy Veterans Day to all of us who have worn a uniform and all who wear one, and again, hashtag USMC, hashtag Semperfy, hashtag URA. I actually talked to him on the phone about this particular thing, and his answer to me at that time was, well, it could have been any uniform. Bitch, we all know what uniform you were trying to imply at that time when you made that post. At this point, maybe you still have doubts, right? You're saying, well, he just wrote Marine Corps in his bio. He never said he was in the Marine Corps. He just wore dog tags and said, we wear them. He just said us about the uniform. Maybe you still have doubts. So you know what? Once again, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he wasn't claiming to be in the military. Because, I mean, let's be honest. In none of those particular posts did he ever say the words, I, Danny Nunez, was in the United States Marine Corps. I mean, so far, maybe none of that holds up in court. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's misinterpretation. Maybe he's just a real fan of the Marines. I mean, it's not like he put it right on his resume or anything, right? Wrong. Wrong. Plain as day, you can see right here, he claims to have served eight years active in the United States Marine Corps. Not only that, but he also, for some reason, claimed to be a detective in the New York City Police Department. It's not true. It also says that he did officer training for the Marine Corps in Quantico for a year. That's also not true. When I asked him about this, he told me, I myself have never made a resume, which is a big crock of shit. Let's say he's playing the semantics game here, which he is. And maybe he himself did not physically type that out. He damn sure sent that resume to multiple people. But for giggles, let's give him the benefit of the doubt one more time. Let's say none of that evidence exists at all. We'll just say that that stuff isn't out there and wasn't put out there. We'll say for giggles, it doesn't exist just for the sake of argument. And we'll start fresh with him and say, you know what? He still never claimed it. What about this bio that he sent in? about himself at a martial arts studio that he was teaching at to describe himself. This motherfucker's life. You can't make this shit up. Once again, in the first line, you can see it says United States Marine Corps veteran. If that didn't convince you, here's him approving it to be used. All of that goes to say very simply that he has been caught lying about being in the military. So here we have two different people, one caught lying about being a brown belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and the other lying about his service in the military. But there is a major difference between the two of these people. One of them actually came clean publicly and told the truth. Now, if you remember at the end of our conversation with Eduardo, he said that he would be making an announcement in his post-fight interview on January 13th after his MMA fight. Well, January 13th came and went and I didn't hear a thing from Eduardo, so I decided to reach out myself and the damnedest thing happened. Not only did he apologize to me for the way that he spoke with me previously, 
but he also made a public apology, owning the lie, and admitting the facts and telling the truth. Here's what that post said. So in case you're new here or missed it, last year I had a manic BPD episode which lasted about six months. While manic, I falsely claimed that I was a BJJ brown belt. This caused me to be suspended from IBJJF competition, kicked out of my dojo where I also lived, mocked and ridiculed online, excluded from all local gyms and open mats, bullied, threatened, and harassed online, false gossip spread about me around town, blocked, banned, unfollowed, and unfriended. I said what I did, but I will say it again. That was a stupid thing that I did while manic and mentally unstable. I never should have done that. I am very sorry. Why do you have to persecute and shame me so? What can I do to prove to you now that I'm sorry and that I wish things were different? I wish to God I had never done that. It was wrong, forgive me. Please, explain to me and tell me what you want me to do to make amends so you stop hating me so much. <laughs> that took a lot of balls. It is extremely difficult to come clean like he just did. Personally, I'm proud of you, man. I'm proud of you for what you did. I'm proud of you for admitting that you made a mistake. Not doubling down over and over and over again, but actually admitting fault, apologizing, and asking for forgiveness for literally doing something that you yourself knew was wrong at the time. I say good for you for owning what you did. That's not easy to do, and it's a very difficult thing to put yourself out there for the world to see someone like yourself vulnerable. I say good for you. I think that is what you should have done, and I'm proud of you. This brings us back to DJ Danny Nunez. I had spoken with Danny on the phone, and while we talked on the phone, during that time, he actually agreed to doing an interview. I followed up with him multiple times and never got a response until eventually I got this statement. No, I don't think anything I say will matter going off of what and how we spoke. I have changed my ways of thinking and acting. I have lied and suffered consequences for it. I have made amends and apologized to everyone I had to. I am very sorry for not speaking more on the matter with you. Please respect my decision and please do not take this personal. Bull. Bull. First, I don't take this personal, man. This is my job. But the people that you lied to, they do take it personal. They thought you were a good dude. They trusted you. Second, no, I do not respect your decision at all because you're still lying. You lied to me during the conversation that we had. And you're also saying you made amends with everybody who you needed to. I spoke with over 10 people about your particular issues. And we both know that the military thing is not the only issue. After I spoke with all 10 of those people, all 10 of them, all had the same thing to say. They wish that you would come clean publicly about the lies. Your statement means dick all. It means nothing because it in itself is also another lie. Once again, I'll reiterate this for you, Danny. Me and you both know you lied about way more than just the military thing. You have done shady things well past that and have other lies on the table. I left those out on purpose. I left all of that out on purpose just to give you an opportunity to come clean publicly. All of that so far is left off the table. This is an opportunity for you, like I've given you multiple times, to come clean publicly about the things that you have done. And we're not just talking once again about the military issue. What happens next with this story is completely up to you. So there you have it, two frauds, two different stories, but both of them having their lives affected and changed in a negative way because of the lies that they have told. One decided that he was going to own it, make a public announcement and apologize and own the lie. Let people know he wants to be a better person and the other one still cannot do that. This brings me to the question of the day. The crazy thing about this story is both of these stories were happening almost at the exact same time. This could have ended with both of them admitting fault and moving on with their lives, but this goes to show you, I think, a great lesson in ownership. So my question is, do you believe that there is forgiveness after ownership? Do you think that once someone has admitted fault, that they can then move forward with their lives? I look forward to reading your comments in the comment sections below. Be sure to answer that question so that way I know that you watch the entire video. As always, thank you all for the likes, comments, shares, subscriptions, and memberships. 
keep the martial arts legit. My baby got robbed the other day by the generic. So she wanted to learn some new form of this self-defense. So she did her research and for rules, did online and found this tool said he could move shit with his mind. He call himself Sifu Parts in my man. He got a dojo with his strip on your cinnamon. Now she spends all day trying to break boards with her thoughts. But the only thing she's breaking is my little Don't.